The veterans of our military services have put their lives on the line to protect the freedoms that we enjoy. They have dedicated their lives to their country and deserve to be recognized for their commitment. There are visible signs that someone is a veteran. The way they act, the look in their eye, a scar. There is evidence you can't see, like memories that have not yet been forgotten. A veteran is a person that has been in uh, in a foreign war, protecting their country, and uh, well, putting their life on the line many times. Well, you're, you're just proud you served. And I just, you know, we, we believe in the American flag. It's, it's holy to most veterans. Being a veteran means different things to different people. Some find pride in it, others only pity and regret. Despite this, veterans are willing to risk their lives and fight for our freedom and the safety of others before thinking about themselves. Well, a lot of people have different aspects of that. I mean, I myself, being a veteran was, you know, going over there and putting your, <coughs> excuse me, putting your life on the line for, you know, your family, friends, other countrymen. So, and it gives you a proud feeling. Well, I would say the most memorable thing that I've seen was seeing the atomic bombs explode at Bikini. It is so quick that you're looking out there and all of a sudden there's 10 million tons of water in front of you. And that is something you, you think, now what's this world coming to? And a tidal wave coming at us at 12 feet high. And uh, we, the water we was eating was radioactive. The food we eat was radioactive. I know showers was radioactive. And, uh, but I managed to live through it all. I go to a reunion in every year at uh, Iowa. When we started in 1980, there was 165 of us. There's only three of us left now. Being part of the military can force the best of people to do something they've never thought they would. The consequences can follow them forever. Actions over in Vietnam. Vietnam is the war that I was in, the conflict. And uh, a lot of the actions over there were the fact that, you know, it, you had to whether you wanted to or not. Sometimes you had to take a human life. <clears throat> which, you know, nobody likes to do. I was uh, taking care of my five-inch guns. They were what they call anti-aircraft guns. The projector weighed four, uh, 54 pounds, and we both had, uh, they were anti-aircraft, they would shoot 37,000 feet high. And, uh, oh, if you got scared, they could get out about 24 rounds a minute per barrel. And uh, it is really, uh, it's really interesting. You practice and practice so you can be perfect. I was like, uh, when we was in the Philippines, in 39 days and nights, we had 109 air attacks, two typhoons, and a ship-to-ship -ship surface engagement. Covered the landy at Lady and Luzon. We didn't get much sleep. Everyone honors Veterans Day differently. Whether as a loud parade or a solemn remembrance, the men and women of our armed services recognize it as a national thank you. The willingness of America's veterans to sacrifice for our country has earned them a lasting gratitude. <laughs>